Okay, Debbie. You got this. So, pause. Wait. Ah. What the? Oh my god. What? Is that a zombie? A horse. Is that an undead horse? Uh, specifically, I think you might call it a pale horse. Did you. Did you carjack death? I may or may not have found a cursed tablet. And summoned one of the horses of the apocalypse. The better I have it. I cannot refute that! And that... <laughs> Does it do anything? Does it, like... Have... Nah, it's just, it's just a, really, it's just a horse. Oh, so it doesn't fly or, like... Poop hellfire or anything? I took you for a fond hmm. Aha! Um. Is that the advantage yours? <laughs> Monty! Get. Gotta go for the head, old guy. I think I really do think I'm getting a touch old for this. Like hell you are. They say you're only as old as you feel. And you feel... We have company. Aww. Aaron Singh, my partner Montgomery de la Roche. We are from Oxford. Occult department. Under the circumstances, that may be a redundancy, Aaron. You taught me to always value precision, Monty. Even at the expense of economy. I take it you're not here for the scenery. That's our territory. We have trodden carefully on this brittle ground, aware of any misstep that might unearth things that should remain buried. Not like those boorish Orochi thugs. We would have left a discovery of this magnitude undisturbed. Well... Largely undisturbed. Those jackboots barreled over us with no thought to the consequences. This excavation... All of the constructions in the valley, they are only wall dressing. Markers. An antechamber to a second site. A massive complex. An entire city. Sealed away. Inside the mountains. Concealed from prying eyes. And Google Earth. Only now breached <laughs> to a creeping, terrifying end. You've heard of the mummy's curse and such, no doubt. Poppycock. Pure rot. Yet some parts of the past were buried for a reason. Never to be unearthed. Not for greed, for science, even for academia. What Monty means to say is, we are not going inside that place. We are scorched, yeah, I got not... That. I fear that whatever is done to stem the tide, it will have little consequence when a tsunami awaits on the other side. There is singing. It's fading. That means something. They are adorable. They are. I took you for a fond mirage. It's heartwarming. Variable three in pine and humber. Slight or good. Occasional rain. Fog patches in Shannon and Viking. Moderate or good. Ah. Fairshore. Northwest five to seven. Gay late. Moderate becoming good. South four or five later. No dogger becoming very rough. Let's see. Showers. Ah, there you are. I hope you don't mind my track down your personals. Listen, I believe in practicing a sustainable business with competent partners. After all, we tend to take very long view of things in, in the uh, wrong ways. In the kingdom. Instead, we have made some conspicuous slips of late. Terribly conspicuous. Death cult conspicuous. I suppose you really should try to make up for it, but let's not forget that we all make mistakes. Believe me, your kind has made mistakes. What do you mean by your kind? 
Let's go pick one. <laughs> so let's not get hung up on who's shipped what for whom. Life goes on, I should think. My right, people will call your people. We'll do lunch. Promoted. Faction rank increased. Congratulations, suit. Okay, I know he's talking about one kind of shipping, but I'm picturing the other kind. You too, huh? Yeah. The internet has ruined that word. High becoming very rough. Rain later. Rockall Hebrides, northwesterly four or five, packing southerly five to seven in Rockall and Bailey. Very rough. I'm liking the direction your performance is going here, and that's pretty much the sweet spot for our relationship. Let's try to keep those metrics in the green. Well, okay. I think I should be following through this. Well, I mean, yeah, maybe it's the same thing that keeps you from splatting on the ground. Oh, yeah, look, a normal sized scorpion. Oh, look at the little guy. It's been so long since I saw a normal insect. You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen a normal sized scorpion. Oh, they're pretty cool. Yeah. They're like the most. I, I, they're the creature in nature that just seems like the most designed for murder. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like, do they really need the claws and the tail and the poison? It's. And the bites, they yeah. bite too. Oh god, yeah. Oh god, remember Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Yep. With the big scorpion that that killed yeah. Auntie? Highly unusual, unnatural patterns. A cadence? That's odd. Oh. Welcome, welcome. Sorry about the mess. Oh, mind your feet. I'm the hot young Turk. He's the stuffy old professor. No, wait a minute. The heat's getting to me. You see how a wit like this is wasted on Oxford. Monty <laughs> likes to think of himself as a dry old scholar. But you don't learn swordsmanship like that in fencing class. I did, actually. Though I've had my scrapes with the ramen uncanny, considerably more of them since being paired with Dr. Singh here. The only way to experience occult history is to go out there and get stuck into it, don't you agree? Dragon, Tempest, Illuminati, whatever you are, no offense, you're very hands-on. Aaron, like you, is of the new breed, the go-getters. I'm afraid I'm a holdover from the past, when the secret world stayed politely secret. You know I hate it when you depress yourself. My boy, we were fusty custodians then. We would deny the truth rather than have it contradict hundreds of years of utterly dreary research. We were lucky to get funding for this expedition. Egyptology is a sore topic back at Lazarus College. I have a feeling current yeah. events are endear us to the funding committee. It's not just the money involved in paying off the kingdom. It's that the kingdom exists at all. What point is there spending months sifting through the detritus of the 19th dynasty if you can just take them out to a boozer and ask them face to face? They do love to put us in our place. To recall the mummy Al fired on the Rosetta Stone, an impressive effort but totally wrong. As sweet as clotted cream, as crushing as a cake. I tell you this much, Monty. If we survive this mess, there's a case to be made for major holes in the kingdom's recollection of history. I knew they were looking shifty, even for walking corpses. It's true. The dash thing about unspeakable evils is how reticent people are to mention them. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like, um... Goodbye. Who did this, though? God, I don't know. What... What are those bones over there? No, further. Bones? To the right? To the right? Oh, that's a wheelbarrow. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone murdered a wheelbarrow. Those bastards! What's that thing on his pack? And T. Once the great royal wife. 
looks like a sword of some kind. Yeah. Are you getting all this, Aaron? At the ark. Oh. Everything really the word you're looking for, Monty? The ark. At least take a rubbing, man. Everything keeps coming back to that Hello again. giant onk We're out there. We're getting a little legwork while there's a break in the uh, murdering. I don't know how au fait you are with the reign of Pharaoh Akhenaten, creator of the would-be capital Amana, dedicated to his one god Aten. It's out that way. Yes, a very long way out there. Even on its rushed schedule, the city was never completed. It was a vanity project, subject to the whims of Akhenaten's growing megalomania. And our man was distracted by the demands of his Atenist religion and the wiles of his mother, T.A. the Red Queen. She colored her nails blood red, perhaps even dyed her hair. Upper class ancient Egyptian women were millennia ahead of the glamour curve. <laughs> Think of a Lady Macbeth figure. <laughs> oh, way of my hair is natural. Songs. Who? Honey, you were like a shade or two lighter when we first started this. Okay, okay, you're right. Okay, look. It, it, it's not, it's enhanced natural, okay? <laughs> no comment. They're so cute together, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Goodbye, and good luck. Let's check his notes. Slight or moderate. Showers, then rain. Poor. Janet. Ghouls did this. Of course. High becoming very rough. Rain later. Rockall Hebrides, northwesterly four or five. Backing southerly five to seven in Rockall and Sailor. Ghouls number six. For a moment, there I took you for a fond mirage. Hmm. Ooh. Those are yeah, really we already looked at that. Oh, yeah, sorry, I was distracted. Those are really good drawings. Rituals. Well, that's never a good sign. Well, some rituals were okay. Name one. Hey, I have had some very good protective rituals. That that that's helped me keep you know, Dalter under control. Oh yeah, yeah, under control. Yep. Something you're not telling me? There's a lot of things I don't tell you. Fair enough. Horus to abandon. Ruins the Northwest, particularly ancient research, curtailed by the beastly Latter day Eighth in this cult. Forced to abandon the notes and translations, trust me. Trust these have remained for October eyes only thanks to simple cipher. In the event of my and Dr. Singh's absence, a rudimentary knowledge of Roman history should put key to a lock. Caesar cipher, then. Yep. I'd like that these two history geniuses just, you know, use their you know, like make their cipher the easiest thing possible. Well, it's not the. Well, okay, yeah, Caesar cipher. Lat bash is is a little harder. Yeah. Wait. God damn it! Oh god, Phoenicians again. Yep. And I guess these are feral ghouls. Mm hmm Not like the ones around the around the um hotel. <laughs> Which I wish Saeed would call off. They're a big pain in the ass every time I go there. Well he can't be sure that like other people aren't going to come. Could he tell them to not attack me? Right, no, he can't. They're goals. Yeah. Oh, hey, I can 
Maybe, maybe you gotta bring like some ghoul treats. I'm not gonna be making any ghoul friends. <laughs> I mean, if you could, you can invite them to join your book club. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, we have deep ones and stuff. When did you get deep ones? Oh, they're they're in there before. Well, I'm in the, in the other branches. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're. It's a big organization. Why do you think? Hmm. That is probably true. I mean, like I only really control just a small portion of it, except for the part that I've expanded international, which is still pretty small. Yeah. Yeah, the go the yeah. yeah, it turns out I was right. Deep ones are actually not not all bad. Oh that's good. That's good to hear. Are there any Sasquatches in your organization? No, no, not in this part of New York. Well I didn't think I meant like in anywhere in the organization. Oh no, it was mostly in New York. Okay. Uh I'm Ghoulash. Oh, there, there was a water bottle back there. Most ghouls live underground, in caves, or in other dark locations like abandoned crypts and basements. Huh. While they are able to function during the day, they prefer the night. In daylight, they are easily spotted and their prey can fight back. Hunger can draw them out during the diurnal hours, as can the presence of wars, accidents, or occult incidents that tip the balance in their favor. I gotta find the, uh, I'm also looking for the temp, the door marked with the symbol of Aten. Hmm. That shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard to find. You said optimistically. What are, the what are the Phoenicians doing here? I mean, they get involved in a lot of things. Oh, so, there we are. Yep, that was... These passages open onto something, but they are locked with a rather interesting mechanism. Here the lock is sealed by the presence of the seven fake sentinels. The gods and the pillars? I'm not climbing up there to find out, besides only Horus, Mat, Bast, and Sekhmet are represented. Where are Satis, Merit Sager, and Anubis? Well, they threw Anubis in the Nile. <laughs> God, I need to get caught. I... I'm being left behind. I'm being. You're lapping me in JoJo. Ah, dead ghoul. I killed the ghoul. Probably the locusts. These are territorial conflicts, I see. Okay, so... Well, first of all, before I try to figure out that mystery, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to the other ritual site. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, figuring out this one sounds like it's gonna be a pain and just gonna lead to an angry sun god. We, we don't want to deal with that now. I'm on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you tried Old Spice for her? Wait, why would you try that? Yes, why would I? That's about where I found the tablet, actually. You know, it's it's not like Old Spice for her makes my hair smell like flowers or anything. More like a... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, ow. Yeah, guessing we don't want to be here. But it's part of... I gotta be here. 
Well, no, but we gotta be here. We just don't want to be here. That's true. Caesar Cipher. Can mm. you run this through your algorithm? No, I don't even need to. I can just run it in my head. Oh, cool. Path of the Sun relates not just to the solar body, but the travel of the human body. Birth to beyond stations on the path of life, although the order is not what seemed initially obvious. Okay, so okay. got to do like a Solomon Grundy thing here. Hmm. Sorry, I can't read the notes. Okay, so... Um, hey, maybe these guys can help me. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so let me look at let me look at these. Okay, oh, he put up notes in them. That's useful. Yeah, let's see what that says there. Okay, so oh, very cool. Says birth, the briefest blaze. Okay. Uh. Can you go down them the lines there? Infancy, a quickly doused flame. Okay, you want me to just... You need me to go to Nora? Well, it doesn't really matter, yeah. We'll just... Let's do it this way. Um, childhood only truly fades after old age. Okay, so... Youth never truly extinguished. Ah, uh, missing out. Oh dear, that's going to be a problem. Adulthood, slower burn than infancy, faster than old age. Oh, this is going to be one of these puzzles. Yep. Immortality, once achieved, unquenchable. Right. And death, death is ever present. So what's the order? Huh. Okay. Okay, well, let's see. Death is... Uh, hmm. Okay, what was, what, and what was this one, the one that's missing? I don't know. That maybe that one's old age cuz Oh yeah, old age. Yeah. Okay. Do you have the note for that? Yeah, I got an I've got an Well, there's no there's no written note, but like that might be the cuz like one of them mentioned old age. So okay, so which one do I do first? Well, um this is Birth, the briefest blaze. I think that means that one goes out first. So that one right right there. Okay, what's next? Um I think uh infancy, a quickly doused flame. So that one. And then uh third one on the left. Old age? No no that's a no third Third one on the le right, no. left. 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 Yeah, left. Left. Right. Adulthood. Um, burn slower burn than infancy, faster than old age. Which is just a little on the nose there. Yeah. Then old age, the one without a note. Okay. And then finally, childhood, which only truly fades after old age. Which one's childhood? That one. Okay. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh wow. Wait. 
made a laser light show happen. Yeah. I like when puzzles do that, you know, it's it's, it's a good confidence booster. Uh... Okay, a metallic scarab. The Shrine of the Silver Scarab. No. 